Hey Duncan, here's your finished Escher uh, Part 5 glove. It's a little bit small for me, but I can wear it enough to show it in the video. This is the leather that these gloves, as well as the sixes, will be using from now on after a few more orders that I had. Um, I accidentally started this order before another one. This is a. I thought I was going to do a part six, but I forgot the names of my gloves. So I started a part five on accident. So <laughs> this is an order much further down on my list, but uh, good for you. You get your glove early. I'm very happy with how it came out. I like these simpler fives and sixes with just kind of like the rough paint and quick detailing. I mean, like the solder spills and stuff are all as accurate as I can get them because uh, I have to intentionally do those regardless, so might as well make them look as close as I can instead of artificially making them worse. But I like the you know, quickly slept on paint, the uh, oxidation, which I've actually found a better way to do, which is nice. You can, you might be able to tell it's very um, gnarly looking. Um, I've been trying to get some more of this like indent in these folds. I used to not really like that, but I, on uh, this particular glove, a tiny bit of it is accurate, so. There you go, you get some of that. You get a red ball. It's just painted, but as long as you don't treat it too rough, it shouldn't matter. You know, treat your expensive props with respect, and uh, things shouldn't break on you. Uh, this is oil paint, so give this a while to dry. I'm gonna try to get this shipped out on Monday or Tuesday, hopefully. But anyway, man, let me know what you think. I hope you like it. I know I do. And I'll uh, get it out to you very soon. Like I said, 